hi guys so we're going to be creating this dress today um i'd already prepared some avatar from das that we're going to be using to create this dress so i'll just go ahead and import that so i created the avatar in three different kind of pose this is the t pose this is the a pose and this is like this pose we have on this dress so i'll go ahead and load in the t pose for you guys so that you guys can see how it looks so yeah this is like that this is the t pose is a bit kind of like taller than the regular avatar we have in clo that's why the uh so it's a bit taller than the avatar we have in close so let me just show you that let me just do avatar from the youtube so let's just kind of like load in a random avatar from clue 3d so let's load in this let's just add this So you guys can see it's a bit taller than the other that we had in, we have in claw so i just wanted to show you guys that so this is the avatar we're going to be using today and this avatar is in t pose like i said i've created this avatar in several other poses so yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm really not going to start by creating like the 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 patterns from scratch i'm going to start with clue 3d default modular configurator and this is like what is called like a modular configurator so where you have like all this uh material so you can see it's a modular configurator usually if i kind of like close this you can find it by this side it's called modular configurator so it's like a default uh settings that come when you have clue 3d so i'm just going to go ahead and reduce this yeah so that it's it's, it's fitting here perfectly well it's still really is too big so let me just go ahead and reduce it a bit so yeah it's a bit reduced guys so like i said i'm going to be starting with the modular configurator so i'm just going to pick like a random uh so this is women since the avatar we have is like a woman then you it has it comes with like several ones depending on the one you want to use there's a t-shirt so i'm just going to be using the t-shirts today i'm going to load that up then as you can see this clothes is like a v-neck dress so i'm also going to be loading that up as well then at the same time i'm going to load up the sleeves yeah so i'm going to switch off this blue line so let's see so i'm just going to drag this hop yeah make sure it fits perfectly well on the avatar body then you go ahead and simulate then you need to do like a bit of uh a bit of work here and there just to make sure like it fits perfectly well So yeah, I think that's okay. Then go ahead and do like some of the boobs to make sure like that fits well. And that's it. So I'm going to be deleting the ones I don't need, like the neck pieces. Yeah, which is a color, I'm going to delete that then probably simulate again yeah you can see like the clothes is not perfectly fitted on the body and um i also kind of like love to at times change the material so let's see if i can get like any other fabric to change to so let's see if i can get any cotton fabric So we kind of have a lot of cotton fabric here so let's see if we can get any good one so i'll just kind of like toggle i have to keep dragging this about so i'm sorry about that 
I would just kind of like toggle around it and see if we could get anyone that would perfectly fit but I would like so let's keep checking no let's see this I forgot this ones forgot this ones okay let's just use this one yeah let's just use this one let's drop this bar so I'm going to change the body to this one and kind of like simulate it and see yeah then the next thing i'm going to do now is kind of like work on the neckline so the next thing is i'm going to work on the neckline I'll just drag it down to see then simulate it again yeah i think it's, it's beginning to look a bit better yeah. so i would keep this at that i probably would increase it later so the next thing is i would kind of like also like to kind of like slim fit it a bit to fit the body of the avatar so, so practically what I'm doing is majorly for visualization you can do stuff like this when you are going into production it needs to be more perfect than this and also you need to kind of like use measurements not just kind of like look at it the way I'm doing and just go ahead and do it measurement and some other things needs to be involved in it so yeah um i think at this juncture i might want to kind of like change this avatar to an a pose so let's see yeah it's good that i'm kind of like thinking of doing that so to do that what you need to do is you probably would have saved your avatars uh as a pose before you kind of like start working hi thank you for joining in I really appreciate it thank you very much so this is like my first time i want to see how it's go if i'm really doing great so thank you very much for joining in um it's nice to have someone here so uh yeah i'm going to convert this to a post this is what we are creating let me just this is what i'm trying to create today and i'm going to convert this back to an a post this presently in t pose because I feel like an a post would like do more justice to it. So I think this should be it. Yeah, so you kind of like just want to morph your target hat and yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think the a post would do more justice. I would probably want to increase the length. A bit more as well hi thank you for joining in and thanks for the comment so I want to increase this a bit as well just a little bit so yeah I think uh, we can leave it at this we probably would increase it a bit later if it doesn't fit perfectly with what we are trying to do so yeah then i'm just going to manually create this so usually i kind of like like to create this in two uh so that um i can kind of like have it symmetrical so let's see if this would do justice it should and at first i don't like it to be extremely wide i like it to be as small as possible so that i can increase every time so i'm just going to full symmetry pattern with sewing so that it's easier for me to kind of like sew and um so join this and this together this and this together as well and you might probably want to check it then i think i'll just 
copy this and just shift it make sure it fits perfectly well to the back So I'll do the same thing for the back. I may also want to shift it a bit forward and turning it as well. yeah then i think i might want to change this fabric type as well to a kind of another fabric so let me see if i can use like a default fabric or a default cutting anyone goes uh there used to be some really default fabric here yeah so let's see let's see this one okay So I'll kind of like make it a bit longer so that like it's as long as what we have here. Then I might want to go ahead and kind of like try to expand this a bit. Yeah, but I think instead of just expanding it like that, I should probably just expand all the sizes. Yeah, something like this. So I think one of them is, yeah, this one. So uh, I will just kind of like check what we have here. It's one nine point two. Then try to just change the length of this one to probably six hundred for a start, so that it's not kind of like too much. Then do the same to the lower part. Yeah, I think I want to expand this one more as well. I hope that's not too much. Yeah, and um, I don't know if there's anybody in the chat that knows how to do the camera thing. I was really trying to kind of like figure that out and I was unable to do that. So I just had to do this, the life without my face showing. Or would probably like to show my face sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, I think this is too much. As I don't like to show my face, but sometimes. Yeah, I think this should be better. So let's see. I have to.
yeah I think this is better than I have to just increase so this is 1055.8 so let's see let's see if it's not too much to do at once usually it might be too much but let's see hmm, it's too much I think it's too much but let's see if we're lucky enough I think it's it's a bit okay. I might just want to increase the length a bit more, just a very little bit. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Then I might want to also play with the particle distance. Let's use fifteen. So yeah, I think I would want to leave that as that and I'll probably play with the sleeve a bit because um, you can see like there's this uh, part of the sleeve here that has like a bulge, like a little bulge. So let's see how we can get that from this. So first of all, I would kind of like go ahead and reduce the sleeve a bit. I feel it's kind of like long. Yeah, it's too long. Let's just reduce it a bit. Yeah, I think this is better. Then I don't know what this. There's actually a name for this too, but I kind of like forgot. Yeah, I think it's called segment two or something like that. But I really do not know like the exact name for it. So I'll just go and kind of like use it to increase the width of the hand a bit. Yeah. So something like this. So usually when you do that, it actually changes the sewing point. So you probably, so I usually kind of like do an X and the uh, uniform split so that I get the middle back as well and join these and this back yeah i'm not sure if that yeah so i have to kind of like do it for the second sleeve also then yeah let's see let's see so um, i i think i need to do it a few more times to kind of like get the amount of fold i need at the upper part so i'll just go ahead and do that now i'm going to use this point and this might probably be too much but let's see i kind of like feel like i should do um more african stuff while i'm doing my life every monday uh because i found that like there are not so much stuff like so much creation on that i don't know what you guys think or do you guys feel i should do like normal random stuff and not just limit it to kind of like african attires and stuff like that you guys can just let me know what you guys think and if you guys have like suggestions on them what you think i can do for the life you can as well let me know so i'm just going to go ahead and i think i want to delete this part and uh, at the same time i want to kind of like make it a bit smaller so let's do i think 120 might be good so but ends let's see so 
So we also the sleep is a bit. Uh, I don't think this sleeve is tight at the hand. It's kind of like big. So I might want to change that. Uh, no. I might want to change this because I feel the sleeve is kind of like big at the hand. So I might just want to. So I might want to do this. Um, so just convert this to cuff point then extend this a bit yeah yeah so i'm extending this so that i can get the the right amount of puffs or the food that i want oh thank you so i might just extend this a bit uh, So yeah, I think leave the hand at this. Yeah. So we can make do with this sleeve. The picture is really not showing the way the hand is exactly. So I'm just trying to kind of like do a guesswork. I think the, the sleeve part is a bit wider. So let's see if we can do 150 on both. Um, yeah. So let's see if this would work yeah i think this should be better and uh, if you want to kind of like increase this sleeve a bit more there's a way to do that uh you can use this to i would probably kind of like <laughs> yeah i'll probably kind of like learn to know the name of the tools so like i can tell you guys better but Yeah, the more the fabric, the better. I'm thinking of doing it like this. So let's see if this would work. Yeah, I think this would also work. Then I can also still go ahead and use this one to make them a bit bigger, a bit wider. Yeah, so let's see. So, yeah, we might just want to have it like this. Am I still going forward? Am I still work on the sleeve a bit? Then I think there are some kind of like folds at the at the edge of the at the edge of the neckline. There are some folds at the edge of the headline, neckline. So we might probably want to go ahead and create that and see how that would also come out. So let's see. So for that, I think I will be using an ellipse. Just use an ellipse. I think Clo now has this future, this spiral future. Hmm. I've tried that once, but I really don't like it. But let's try it out and see if it would be good. No, I don't think this would work. No, I don't think this would work. He has, he has so more curves and edges and... Uh, no, I don't think I need as much as this. I don't think I need as much as this. No, I don't think this will. I only need like a very small round stuff. So I'm just going to use the ellipse. So I like to hold shift down so that I can get like a perfect circle. Then I'm going to use like an internal ellipse as well. Hold shift down as well to get like a perfect circle then just look for like a way to kind of like place it so that it's placed properly and i'm going to cut and sew and probably just delete this one and uh, create i'm also still going to use like i think i should use to create that i think i should create an internal line and just cut it into half Do the same for this place and just cut it into half. Then yeah, off you go. 
that's the one we're gonna be using then I probably want to expand I probably want to expand this a bit so I'll just uh, offset as internal line and let's say I do a hundred mm, I think a hundred is small let's do a 150 that's too big 120 might do yeah 120 is perfect then I'll just cut and sew I'm just supposed to cut that was a mistake I was just supposed to cut because I'll obviously be deleting it then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have it sewn to the neckline like this Yeah, I feel it should be a bit wider than what I have now because what's on the design is actually wider than this. So we might want to make this. So let me just make this into cuff points because we don't need it. So let's see if we can uh, offset pattern outline. Let's do a 50 and see first if it's not too big. I think a 50 is perfect uh, and also I think they have more than one probably two so let's see so we just have to uh, copy then I would mirror paste mirror paste yeah perfect something like that and I'll have it sewn at the other side as well is this is this so incorrect? It feels like it's not correct. Yeah, set it. So I'll just reverse sewing and yeah, something like this. Then I may want to go ahead and have these two parts sewn together. Like I said, I feel they have more than one. I feel they have more than one. Uh, so we are going to create more than one. And I'm also going to be adding like an internal line, just a very small internal line to this part. Just something like this. Then I'm going to have this one sewn to it. To have this one sewn to it. Uh, I want to increase the internal line. Mm. Yeah. So that it's, it's, it is relaxed a bit here. I may want to have that sewn to it so that it is relaxed a bit. Then also, um, I think the one, this one, the boobs is showing a bit so might want to go ahead and do that as well kind of like just on this in a bit um yeah and also increase this a bit then this can go up a bit as well yeah something like this I think I need to kind of like just shift this a bit. Yeah. Let's see. It's really not wanting to show the boobs why. So let's extend it. Okay. I think we have to make do with that so i said i think the the neckline has double of this thing and not just one and i also feel it is a bit longer than where mine is so what i just do is i will just probably delete this ones and kind of like make this a bit longer so i so i think i need to make both a bit longer at the same time so something like this 
Yeah, let's see if that would work. I feel it's too long, but let's see if it would work. Yeah, it's, it's looking like it. Um, just need to figure out something. Um, okay, so I'm going to create another one because I feel this thing is more than one. I'm going to create another one at the back. So I'm just going to kind of like duplicate this one with... Uh, so there's a way you can duplicate. So I'm just going to clone on that. Yeah. So for ease, then I'm just going to kind of like delete it. Delete the sewing. Then I'm going to create like an internal line. So that I, I want to have it wider than what I have. So it's two ways that you create an internal line or... You kind of like just expand this and I'm going to remove uh, the symmetric link that is within both of them so that it doesn't affect the other one. So I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to offset internal line as well. 120 is too much obviously. Let's try 100. I think 100 is perfect. Then I'm going to cut it and sew it. So I'm just going to cut it. So this is a bit too small for the edge. I'm going to increase it a bit. Yeah. You can do this with proper measurement. I would advise you to do it with proper measurement. This is not done with proper measurement, but proper measurement would really be great. Then I'll just go ahead and sew this to this as well. Then while doing that, I might want to make this a one so that uh on the layer so that it's, it remains on top and um we don't have any collision oh i might not make it a one let's see if it works it works at times so let's just see no yeah that's at times i think this time around we decide not to work what did it well i'll just i'll just make this a one to be on the safe side, sincerely. So let's see. So I might want to join this I kind of like feel like um i can i need to expand this to this size so what's the size we have 210 so let's see if i can get similar size and um just to do this one then what's the size 130 is something so i think it's fair enough then i might just want to sew this and this together then i think i might probably also want to change the fabric let's use this and see if we get a good result you can still go ahead and increase it more if you really feel like you need to yeah I 
now this is the part in blue that annoys me the layering part but yeah we have to make the retreat so i just usually would shift it like this and try to simulate it again Or rather, another better way to just do this thing is let me just have this deleted. I think it's more stressful doing it that way. Another way to have it is just reduce this a bit. Oh, I'm supposed to do this thing together. Reduce this. Reduce this a bit. Then this also a bit. I'll probably still increase this one so that like we have this wider. Then I'll probably still increase this part. Yeah, then I'll just simulate it now. Then I'll just uh, duplicate this at the back. So I'll just layer clone both of them so that they are doubled uh, instead of just creating an entirely new one. Yeah, something like this. So I also I think it's not sleeping properly. It's just standing. So let's just play with the fabrics and see if there's anyone that fit or we have to kind of like look for a fabric for it. Um, I think this fabric might be better. Then what else? I think basically this is like everything that there is to be in the dress. Um, what else is in this dress? Oh, so I'm not sure if this thing is just two, it, it looks like it's more than two, and it also looks like the sleeve of this hand has like an extension or something. Um, I don't think probably I'm just the only one seeing it. It looks like the sleeve of this hand has an extension, like a round stuff. So let's see if I can make it here. Let's look for an ellipse. I like to do my shift. Then, yeah. I'm also going to be adding like an ellipse internal line as well. So my shift was, oh, this is a square. I wanted to pick a circle. Yeah, so this one, I'm also going to be holding a shift as well. Then try to find the midpoint. And I'm um, going to be reducing everything because I feel it's just too big. Yeah, so where is it? Just going to position this properly. Um, where the hand is. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Then I think I would also reduce the sleeves a bit. Yeah. Then this one also a bit. I'm going to cut this. I feel it's really too wide. Well, yeah, I would use it for a start. I feel it's too wide. I think for start is too wide, but yeah, let's see. I'll just do this and this.
so i'm going to try as much as possible to make this really small and also make sure like it's in the middle I'm not sure if there's just one or if there's more than one of this but yeah can't really tell but I probably might create uh, another one so let's see if we can have another one on top uh, let's just lay it on top and see yeah that's what I wanted it's on top so so that's the trick of creating something on top of each other you just have to kind of like copy and paste it and make sure it's on top so this one probably just make this one a one then Like I said, I'm really not sure if there are more than one of this thing here. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna create two of them. Just gonna take this one back to zero and yeah let's see so I need to make one of them bigger and one of them smaller so the big one will probably be this one the one that is outside then this one Yeah, like I said, I really didn't, I'm not really sure about the sleeves. It's kind of like look weird. Oh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. I'm not sure this is what they had. Oh. I'm just going to leave it like this let's see we from that one sleeve something like that or should i just increase this um so let's do a 160 for this on both ends yeah let's see that might help yeah i think that's better yeah so it's just on one hand like the stuff looks just on one hand and this thing is a bit lower than what we presently have yeah do i really want to do that so i can go ahead and make that a bit lower i think but i feel this is what they have so let's pause it and see if uh we have like something similar I'm pretty sure the sleeve is kind of like different and some other things and I might just want to make all this 10 yeah so let's see if we can 
uh, let's try to import add so um, I, I want to try to kind of like get similar pose and see yeah so this is you have to be careful when the hand is in yeah it's kind of like what you get yeah the hand okay there's an issue with the sleeve of the hand so to fix that uh i think i might just want to uh, i might just want to import the avatar all over again i might just want to import the avatar all over again hard okay import hard obj so let's add the apples again let's just add the apples again I know. Yeah, let's just have to pause again and simulate it again. Then now we are going to add the disturbing avatar. So more target hard. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I need to just leave the hand and probably yeah so what i want to do is i want to fix this one first then fix the other hand last so i want to fix this one first so this one let me fix first So this is what I'll probably do in this situation is move this back like this then simulate then also work on this so I'll fix this and first because it looks easier to fix actually it looks easier to fix yeah i think that's almost fixed but we still need to fix this one At times I always wish I can just shift the hand. That's not possible. So to kind of like do this. This hand is really stubborn. I think, yeah, so to fix this out, probably have to delete this sleeve. and um okay make sure the ham is the arm o and the neckline is the neckline so usually what i do is i really just 
delete this sewing line of the shoulder and simulate it again. So you can see the back drops. Then for the front, all I need to do is not so much. All I need to do is also shift this one forward like this and this one like this so it drops yeah something like that and i stop this and i fix my swing back and that's the trick like anytime you have and have after that the hand is probably on the head so that's the trick you're good you now probably have to do your sleeve again so i make use of this sleeve i just like do like a symmetry pattern with sewing and i drop it and um, this is it so what i probably do is turn it Uh, which way am I turning it? No, I want to turn it this way. Yeah, I don't want to use this, but I ended up using it. So I just want to turn it like this. And um, you have to make sure, like, the sleeves. So usually, at times, I like to create from so yeah make sure like this is actually inside then you can now like sew it again but this sewing is going to be tricky because you have to make sure like you're sewing the right thing Yeah, you have to make sure you're sewing. Like, this is not the right thing, but you have to make sure you're sewing the right thing. So that's the way to check if you're sewing the right thing. This is, like, the right thing. Something like this. So, I'm sewing just one part because... I want to be sure I'm doing the right thing. So, uh, this, I'm still going to kind of like move this one forward a bit like this. Then this one, um, I want to reverse the sewing and I want to be ready to drag this piece. to be ready to drag this one so I have to make sure it is it is fixing So this is it. Um, this sleeves can be weird at times, but yeah, we like a lot of patience. You can overcome them. I think we just did. Okay, little more. have a little i just have to drag it a bit more and yeah here we are it is fixed then i can now go ahead and sew the other part so usually when i walk i kind of like do just one sleeve and i do the other sleeve later sometimes 
yeah mistake while other times i think this is a new one i did while other times i kind of like do it all at once yeah i think it's recorded i'm not sure if it is recorded or not i think it's recorded but this is my first time using twitch so it should i i tried as much as possible to record it so yeah this is um what we have i think the lower part is not kind of like as big as wide as i want it but yeah this is but i think the way the way the avatar is standing is also different from the way this one is standing but this is it this is what we have now so i might probably get the avatar to stand in this exact in this exact pose so probably we would have because i think this avatar leg is probably shooting out and this one leg is not i think so so let me just hide the 3d pattern yeah this one leg is shooting out extremely well and this one is not so i might probably just uh make another avatar that has similar stuff but yeah this is like just a way of creating like similar dress although we worked on the sleeve we have like a different sleeve i made this sleeve a bit bigger we had a different sleeve but this is like a way to kind of like get like similar results in code 3d in terms of visualization so yeah i think this will be the end of today's stream you guys i'm going to finish this up and um post it on uh instagram i kind of like have another instagram i got a failure different from my own instagram i'll post it there and as well try to post it on my instagram as well i will do like a bit of touching to it uh what i mean by that is i'll kind of like look for like an exact make an exact pose of the avatar like the leg pose try to do that and yeah some finished touches some finished touches here and there i'll add it to it and i'll kind of like also do some texturing in substance painter and some fabric in substance designer let's see how that goes let's see if i'm able to post it by the end of this week i'll work on it and try to post it by the end of this week so you guys can let me know what you want to see in my next stream my next stream is on monday you can send me a dm on instagram what you want to see on my next stream or what uh you would like me to create if you have like an idea you can send it to me i also post this on youtube i also post it on youtube and i'll also post like the finished uh outlook of it so yeah it's not exactly the same because i wasn't intending to create like exactly the same from the beginning i was just intending to kind of like show you how to go around with visualization because i feel like this dress has like a lot of things that one could actually take home from so that's why i decided to do this so let me know if you have like any idea or anything you would like me to kind of like create so yeah thank you and i'm really excited for everybody that made it thank you very much for showing up for me thank you for attending this stream and i would love if you can give me like what you think i should change what you think i should correct what you think um i should kind of like add more yeah thank you guys see you uh in my next stream which is on monday same time eight o'clock uh central european time i think so c e s t yeah thank you bye